yeah, like, PA, like, the problem isn't the cops. I mean, the, you're teaching, of course, when you teach society to hate the cops and to fight back against them and to think that the cops should love them and call them pigs and this and that, of course you're going to get more people who are acting irrationally towards the police. Like, at the end of the day, you can't really fix the whole notion of the police being like all uh, be like because what like how are you, how how are you gonna de-escalate the situation because the situation is already gonna be there before the police well sometimes right? it's actually not you true. Pull, there are there well, are plenty of instances where the cops well, show up and no, make the in, make the situation and they escalate no, no, it out of nowhere no, no, there no, are no, the, no. plenty of those no, no no but i'm saying the situation is already gonna be there right no, uh, that's what Most I, that's exactly time. what like, I'm saying. Know, is nine, that nine, 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 a decent nine, nine, portion, nine, nine, it's nine, not going to be there. Time. But a, 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 like probably a, a soft majority, yeah. The drastic majority, like I'm, I'm not, I'm gonna say, like I don't know, but like let's just. Well, let's I have just, to disagree with you on drastic majority, just considering how many drug arrests there are, where the drug arrest they make is just a, someone who's using it for personal use, and that is a situation that I actually don't think is a criminal situation. As much as we disagree with people who use drugs, you should be able to use as many drugs as you want. That's your life. That's your body. I don't really. It's you. But at the end of the day, if there's a non-violent drug user and the cops show up and make a situation, not only do they make a situation where there actually is none, but once a person gets even like uh sub, like seriously incarcerated, then they start actually start to see them commit more c crimes continue in our we have like the highest rate of recidivism out of most countries most developed anyways and sure. that's like once you arrest someone who's non-violent like that not only have you made this situation but you've also made by a not because ultimately it's the person's choice and what they're going to decide but you can't ignore the fact that you have set this person down an instance where they're going to have so many more instances where the cops run in with them and then we have to pay those cops while they're there dealing with these instances that didn't have to show up and was a product of their own actions. So there are there are some a lot of instances where they show up and there is already uh, a conflict, but I would not call it a gross majority by any means. But you kind of have to see, like pullovers, you could argue are the police thing, right? But pullover is something that they have to do for the state. That's their job. So you pull like okay, so like the dog, the drug thing you're talking about mm -hmm. is okay. Someone's on drugs; mm -hmm. they are on drugs enough that they so get suspicion, right? Like, uh, whatever happens, and if, if the cops arrest them for having drugs that are not legal, mm -hmm. that's whose fault is that? No, I understand whose that. That's how, that I understand that that's how the law works, but that's still an instance of them causing an issue where there is none. But I do understand that it may be illegal for them but, 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 to have those but, like, drugs. But, 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 but you understand they're not causing an issue; they're just arresting someone for doing something illegal. Right? No, like I get that it's illegal, but by them taking that action, it is causing an issue. Like you know, it's also illegal to drink on the streets. Yeah, but, but the cops understood that they had more important work to do when that first became a law, and that's why brown bagging became a thing when you could drink out of a brown paper bag on a corner. Because the cops understand that there are certain things that will be passed as laws, but in order for them to keep doing the good cop work, that there are certain things that they have to do. That's why brown bagging is a thing. It's because yeah, of that notion no, right there. That. But it's still, it's, it's still, it's still not the police escalating anything if they do their job and they. No, it it is. It's incident. actually this is actually almost on par with like the Nuremberg defense, where it's like I didn't do anything bad because I was following the rule. Like I was listening, I was doing what I was told to do. I was just following orders. And that actually, I think, is one of the lowest excuses we could possibly have for moral action. I get that legally it's happening, and I understand 100% why but it's, it's there. But to justify for. it with saying that it's legal is the same reasoning that Nazis use to defend themselves. And therefore, I think that whole, that whole section of reasoning but, is bad, and we can't use it. Like, it's, it doesn't get you to the truth. You're comparing them... No, I'm comparing the structure of the argument right now. There's a structure of the argument. No, no, that no. They but use. I, get what, I get what you're saying, but you're you're, yeah. you're comparing it to Nazism when they're quite literally just doing the job that they're supposed to do. No, no, to I'm comparing the just the statement you made to Nazism, just the statement that it, they did arrest yeah, them for but, something but, but, illegal. But, 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 but. Just the statement that they did arrest them for something illegal because it was against the law. I think saying I just did something because it's my job is a very bad defense and the reason for is nazism that that's how's, all i said how is it a bad defense if it is their job 
Well, because we as moral thinking humans should have the ability to understand when we're asked to do something right and wrong. Yes, but it's it's right to do their jobs, right? Not if your job if is to gas people. What, what, Not if your job is to arrest people who aren't causing crime. Then your job is bad. Yeah, but but your job is to arrest these guys if they have these drugs in them. Right, and there, I said if a... if your job is gassing people or if your job is arresting people who aren't causing real crime, then your job is bad. But like if it's like, like what if it's my job to slap babies? Like that's what I get paid for, you know? It's my job. I have to do that. I mean, that's what a, I'm getting paid big, for. You know? There's a big difference. There's a big difference, though. This is actually, like, law authorities that they're doing the job to, like, keep drugs away from... Because you do realize drugs do cause damage. Like, drugs do cause a huge amount of violence across the world, right? Well, we do that, notice like, that actually the the law on... The war on drugs actually causes a majority of the damage. Because once you, you take... Know, no, no, because hear me out on this. Once you take drugs out of the legal market, yeah. where it can be taxed, regulated, tracked by the government and all that then that's when power goes to the gangs in that moment in the second you say there's no longer a legal marketplace for it but people still want to take them like that like saying that we have to fight against drugs is very fairy tale land because at no point in my life have i ever been aware of a shortage of drugs in america it's just it's not gonna happen it's never gonna happen americans love their drugs and to say that they're only illegal just says that only gangs and people in other countries trying to move it over the border can in any way profit over it. And I think that that's terrible to give that much power to criminals. Get society into that aspect of like, well, yeah, man, like, yeah, I know the law says this, but I'm still doing it. But like, we, we really lose what makes us a society. Mm-hmm. Like, no, I think we day, follow the laws. Like, yeah. Yeah, like, dude. So exactly. If you're a police, they can just, yeah, thank you. The police officer, when he's doing his job, he's right. not doing anything really wrong. He's following the law. Like, the kid, if someone is not supposed to have something on them and they go ahead and do it, that's already them messing up the, the law. The issue, like, no, like, no, I, mean, like, like, like I think you've, you've completed two, two things right here, is that the general what, idea that we should follow laws and the fact that any law is good. And those are two separate concepts. You get wait, wait, that, right? No, I get that. Yeah, so, saying, so, so just because laws are good, that doesn't mean just because he was following the law makes him a good person. Like, just because no, generally I'm following saying, laws I'm are saying, good doesn't mean because I follow the law to slap too? the child makes me a I'm, good I'm, person. I'm, it makes me bad. I'm, say, I'm saying you shouldn't be demonizing police for doing his job. No, but see, we're talking about, like, the job they choose to do because people were getting mad at police for spending all of their time arresting people who are drinking on the streets. That is something we got mad at them for. You could say, quote-unquote, demonizing. I see it's, it's kind of nice trigger word it feels a little bit like virtual signaling because what we're saying is they're doing something and we fucking hate it like they're doing an act they're taking an action and we really don't like this action a lot and we make them do the action though but no overall but you have they we make could, them do the action because it's, it's for us in general it is for us it is for us them doing those arrests do, even though yes you can argue back and forth there's this and this and this and this and this it's still for the good of us overall like, the intention of the good of us, like, but, but like the intention of it being good, a little bit lost on me because all of the worst people in history had the intention of being good. So just an intention isn't enough for me. Yeah, but like when they're doing their jobs to try to help society, kind of yeah. No, like I I understand that they're trying, and I love the fact that they're trying, yeah. and they've signed up for a job I'm never going to sign up for, for reasons. But okay. just saying I have the intention of doing good, isn't enough to make you good it isn't enough to say that like what you're doing is good you know but he doesn't make him bad either he's literally just making well, sure that this well let me are... let me hit you with something and just you tell me if this person is bad right someone understood okay. once upon a time is this, is this is this gonna be like is this gonna be like a scenario that's like really off the bat or something that's actually like it's gonna grounded? be something super pack in history but it definitely happened in real life nothing to do with present <sighs> Right, but this is the thing. Okay, like, so basically, there's a person who understands there's like, that there's like genetic disease is eventually going to kill off human race because as long as there's genetic disease, people are going to keep growing up sick. People are going to keep growing up sickly. If you can pass off a disfigured arm or if you can pass on a disfigured face, that that doesn't that makes people weaker. And so they tried to keep the American, or they tried to keep the human race strong for all of eternity by getting rid of those people. Is that a bad person? He he wants to keep humans alive forever. Is yeah, that a bad I, person? I, I kind of knew this was gonna be something. Really- 
Yeah. That's... Well, because like he, they want to awesome. keep they want to keep really humans awesome. alive. That's the whole point. They just want to make humans alive and perfect. That's all. That's all. Is are they a bad person? I mean, bro. Like depends really on the awesome actions bad. they take. It it depends on the act. One hundred percent depends on the actions they take. But wait, and wait, that's wait, why wait, intentions wait, wait, don't wait, mean that wait, much. Wait, to wait, me. Just let's just, just, just cut a, a, a couple things with what you just said. Okay. You're comparing somebody whose job it is to decide, like, um, to basically you say who lives and dies based on like their parents and stuff like that, based on like um all the like the features that they have and this and that. Mm-hmm. You're comparing that to like modern police. I, it's just not really the well, same. Well, no, no. See, the, said, what I'm asking you was conceptually, because you said, I think, I said that it, I don't think it matters for intention. And you said that when they're out there, like, in the, like, on the line of work, you think it does. And so I set up a scenario where someone is doing a bunch of really hard work with a good intention mm-hmm. to see if you would think that person's a good person. If they're not a good person, then that means just doing hard work and having good intention doesn't make you a good person. So just having those two alone isn't enough oh, to yeah, make only, you for, good. Let's just clarify. I'm not saying that all police are good people. I'm just saying they're doing their jobs. Right, and I I think that saying they're doing their jobs is a red flag that what we're talking about might be bad people. Because they're doing but, bad things and we're justifying their actions. And actions, but, at the end of the day, are almost all I care about. 